Welcome back to my channel guys today. I'm back with a video in which we are going to solve Gen C cognizant aptitude set So complete set aptitude set we are going to solve all the questions and these questions were asked in latest exam cognizant So why let's uh, let's start our video before that if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to my channel So here comes our very first question guys we need to find the unit digit in the given sum so whenever we are asked to find out the unit deed, we don't need to worry how big the given value or expression is. We solely focus only on the unit digit. For example, here for 1 power 1, the unit digit is 1. Plus 2 power 2 square, unit digit 4. 3 cube, 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. The unit digit is 7. Only 7 is needed. And 4 power 4, if we observe, 4, power 4, 4 square is 16. 4 cube is 64. And again, 4 power becomes... Uh, 256 so only the if the even power if it is even power we get a 6 and if it is odd power we get 4 so here 4 power 4 256 the unit digit is 6 and pi power 5 always 5 power anything is 5 and always for a 6 power anything is 6 so simply if sum it up we get 27 i think yeah 27 6 plus 11 17 24 29 sorry 29 the option B is the right answer. Unit digit is 9. And here comes our second question guys. And it's a work and time. Time and work related problem. Don't get intimidated by looking at the question. So a pipe can fill. One pipe can fill the tank in one by 12 hours. Okay. It's clear. And but the another pipe can empty the tank in 24 hours. So we can write it like this. The first pipe can fill one by 12th part of the tank in one hour. And the second pipe can empty the tank in 1 by 24th part in, in every hour. So at alternate hour, the first pipe will run for 2 hours and the second one for 1 hour. So on the whole, I am going to find out in the 3 work net amount of work done or net amount, uh, net amount of tank filled. So for the first 2 hours, this first pipe will be run. So 1 hour work is 1 by 12. For 2 hours, 2 by 12 is equals to 1 by 6th part. Of the tank is filled in two hours first two hours but in the second hour the emptying uh, tank will be emptying so one hour work will be 1 by 24 so i am going to subtract it 1 minus 1 by 24 taking lcm 6 4 the 24 so 24 4 minus 1 3 by 24 so on the whole i am getting 1 by 8 as a total amount of tank part of the tank filled in three hours in 3 hours, 1 by 8 of the tank, tank is filled. So, for example, in 6 hours, 2 by 8. In three, uh, 9 hours, so in multiples of our 3, we are, we are going to get filled, uh, the tank is going to get filled by 1 by 8th part. So, in 7 multiples, I mean 7 into 3. So, in 24 hours, 21 hours, 7 by 8th part is going to fill. Isn't it? Yes. So what is the leftover part? 1 by 8th of the tank should be filled now. 1 by 8th of the tank should be filled. We are done with 24 hours are done. So in the next coming hour, this pipe will be open. I mean the pipe which, which will fill the tank will be running. So it's 1 hour work is 1 by 12th. So let us consider it should uh, work for x hours. x into 1 by 12 is equal to 1 by 8. Now we have the value of x will be x is equal to 12 by h. x is equal to 12 by 8. 4 2s are 4 3s are 2 on the 2 1.5 is. So x value is 1.5 we, we are getting. Right? Guys, initially we got 24, 21 hours plus 1.5 hours. So the answer is 22 and of 22 hours 30 minutes. Option C is the correct answer. And here comes our third question guys. And we are given an equation. We need to solve the given equation. So 2 power 2n minus 2 is equals to 1 by 8 to the power n minus 13 by 3. I can write 1 by 8 as 2 to the power cube. 1 by 2 to the power cube. Whole power n minus 13 by 3. So I can also write two, 1 by 2 cube as 2 power minus 3 into n minus 13 by 3. So 
so can i write 2 to the power minus 3 minus 3 into n minus 3n and minus 3 into minus plus 13 by 3 becomes 13 so 2 power 2n minus 2 is equals to 13 2 power 13 minus 3n so when bases are same if there is an equality powers must be same we know the rule 2n minus 2 is equals to 13 minus 3n and 3n uh, comes to the left side 3n plus 2n 5n is equal to 2 comes to the right side 15 n ones are 5 ones are 5 threes are n is equals to 3 option a is the correct answer option and here comes our fourth question related to lcm and hcf guys given that the reciprocal of lcm lcm and hcf are given reciprocal are 1 by 12 and 1 by 3 12 okay if we observe the reciprocal of lcm is 12 then what act, what will be the lcm reciprocal of uh, reciprocal gives us the actual lcm and here gives it gives 3 12 is our hcf we know lcm we know hcf and we are given another number one of the two numbers 24 but we know the formula product of lcm into hcf is equals to product of two num product of two numbers a comma b but we know that 24 is one of the number can you find the other number yes we can find other number as 12 into 3 12 divided by the given number 24 so 12 ones are 12 to the 24 2 ones are 2 156 are. Option B is the correct answer, guys. And here comes uh, logarithm related questions. Log 2 to the base 5 is equals to log m to the base 3 divided by log n, sorry, to the base 3. Here n is missing. Yeah, yes, correct. So, guys, if we observe here, log a, my, uh, we need to know the rules of logarithms, some rules, basic rules. So that we can easily solve this question log a by b it becomes log m to the base 3 log n to the base 3 becomes log m to the base n directly and is equals to log 2 to the base 5 directly we can compare these two we can easily come to know that m is equals to 2 n is equals to 5 m is equals to n is equal to option a is the correct answer and the formula i have used here is that if log a to the base b and divided by log a to the base log uh, some c to the base b we can directly write it as log a to the base c if these two bases are same directly we can remove the denominator and put it as single logarithm this is the formula i have used here and here comes our sixth question related to probability guys varun is guessing which of the two hands uh, holds a coin normally we usually Play this game what is the probability that Varun gets this correctly three times in a row for example um, first of all the formula is that probability formula favorables by sample space sample space or total number of possibles for example if you observe the tossing a coin the favorable is only one we either choose head or tail what is the sample place sample space two either head or coin head or uh, tail yeah now if we observe in a three times in a row if he wants to win for example in the first first toss if he wants to win the probability is 1 by 2 and the second toss 1 by 2 and again in the third toss 1, 1 by 2 so the probability is 1 by 8 these are mutually exclusive events and here comes our next question guys so, uh, seventh question let me write the given expression first of all related to logarithms log 64 base 16 minus log 16 to the base 64 so if we observe it the given values 64 and 16 i am writing it in terms of 4 power 4 cube and 4 square so it becomes log 4 cube to the base 16 and minus log 4 square to the base 64 and we know the rule logarithm if log a to the power b can be written as b into log a simply here i can write it as 3 times log 4 to the base 16 minus and here 2 comes to the forward to log 4 to the base 64 and 3 times and log 4 to the base 16 we can write it as log 4 to the base 16 1 by 2 directly because 4 power 
16 to the power 1 by 2 is equals to 4 root 16 so I am directly writing 3 into 1 by 2 minus 2 into and log 4 to the base 64 can be written as 1 by 3 because 4 cube is 64 and 64 to the power 1 by 3 is 4 so final answer is 3 by 2 minus 2 by 3 it becomes taking LCM on both sides we get 6 3 to the 6 3 3 the 9 9 minus 4 so 5 by 6 is the answer option C is the correct answer and here comes our eighth question a simple expression is given we need to solve it and we need to find the value of expression 5 into following the board mass rule board mass bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction so 2 plus 16 bracket first of all 5 star 2 plus 16 18 18 by 2 it becomes 9 9 for the 45 until here the value is 45 minus and 4 star 2 plus 2 is uh, 4 into 4 16 here until the value so then 1 by 4 of 16 is value 4 so 45 minus 16 plus 4 is the given answer 45 49 minus 16 49 minus 16 we get 33 as the answer option B is the correct answer and next here comes our ninth question and guys if you uh, give it a read pause the video in a garden 70% of uh, flowers are roses and rest are lilies and total number of roses I'm considering 70 and lilies 30 okay we know that it's given and if 1 by 2 of the roses and 7 by 8 lilies are yellow 1 by 2 of roses 35 are yellow 7 by 8 of lilies is 2 4 the 2 15 the 1 not 5 by 4 1 not 5 by 4 are in yellow color let's consider just so find the probability that a yellow flower selected at the random is rose so if a yellow flower is selected at random mm, what is the probability that it's a rose and yellow roses are 35 and total number of yellow flowers are 35 plus 105 by 4 35 plus 105 by 4 so 35 fours are 120 140 120 plus 520 140 plus 105 divided by 4 245 by 4 by 4 it becomes to enumerated 35 into 4 by 245 becomes 120 plus 4 140 by 245 so 5 4 is 20 5 9 is 5 2 is 10 5 8 are 7 7 is 7 4 are 4 by 7 is the right answer option D is the correct answer and here comes our 10th uh, question LCM and HCF of two numbers 2970 and 330 respectively prime factors of the product of two numbers are given two numbers are 2970 and 30 and resolving uh, finding out the prime factors of these numbers 3 into 10 is equals to 3 into 2 into 5 so 2 3 5 are the prime factors here and if we consider here directly we can come to know 11 is a factor of it so 11 into 11 to the 22 11 7 is 270 equal to 11 into and 270 we can write it as 5 into 5 4 the 20 sorry 5 5 the 25 5 4 the 54 so 11 into 5 into 18 3 the 54 3 into 18 can be written as 9 2 are 3 square into 2 so if you observe this is the first number a and second number b if we multiply these two numbers the prime factors will be this one 2 3 the 3 power some 4 we don't need to worry about the power just we need to find just what are all the prime factors 2 3 5 11 option a is the correct answer no 7 because it's, it's no 7 no four. Then here comes our eleventh question: guys. permutation and combinations of A, B, C, D taken three at a time. 
so if we observe total number of uh, values are items are four we need to take three at a time so formula is 4p3 for the permutation and 4c3 for the combination and if we have to apply the formula permutation formula is npr is equals to n factorial by n minus r factorial for permutations for combination ncr is equals to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial so 4p3 is equal to 4 factorial by 1 factorial is equals to 24 so here the combination is 4 factorial by 3 factorial into 1 factor we get 4 24 comma 4 other given answer required answer so then comes our 13th question it's related to combinations i think so for the post of two receptionist there are 12 qualified candidates in how many ways they can be selected so here we need only two values two items we need to select and the total number of available items is 12 so we need to pick two items from that given two items so in how many ways we can do simply the formula of combination ncr here the n value is 12 c r value is 2 12 c2 is equals to formula 12 factorial by 2 factorial into 12 minus 2 factorial 10 factorial so 10 factorial until 10 factorial gets cancelled only 11 into 12 will be left divided by 2 11, 2 1 2 6 are 11 6 are 66 option c is the correct answer and here comes our 14th question guys related to the probability so we need to find the probability of getting at least one tail when a coin is tossed simultaneously two coins so if n coins are tossed simultaneously we get sample space 2 power n if two coins are tossed 2 power 2 is equal to 4 sample space so what sample space includes both heads both tails and first coin head and second coin tail first coin tail and second one head so if we observe the given question at least one tail we need to select this is the re required favorable this is the favorable one favorable one we don't need this one because it both heads at least one tail is required so three out of four probability is three by four option a is the correct answer and the second way of solving is we can do whenever we are asked to find at least at least if you come across this term we can do one minus probability of getting nothing no tail at least one tail becomes no tail because we are uh, using one minus probability so one minus no tail probability is both heads so both heads is only one items out of four is equal one minus one by four three by four and here comes our 15th question guys we need to find the largest power of 20 in given 100 factorial so actually for this there is a method specific method to solve these kind of questions for example if uh, instead of uh, 20 we are given a prime uh, prime number p let us consider we need to find the largest power of uh, p in 100 factorial so the method is that 100 divided by p power 1 so this should be an integer i am implying by bracket 100 divided by p square plus 100 divided by p cube and so on until the value is less than 1 uh, or not an integer so this is the method so here we are given 20 if we observe 20 20 is equals to 5 into 4 5 into 2 square so 20 contains two prime factors 5 and 2 so we need to find a power of 5 largest power of 5 in this and power of 2 square or 2 and the smallest of these two will be the answer because it should be common right for uh, 20 is a multiple of a uh, 5 and 4 so that's why the smallest of these two powers will be the answer so 100 first time finding for 5 100 by 5 power 1 plus 100 by 5 square plus 100 by 5 cube and so on until the value is less than 1 so 100 by 5 20 plus 5 square 20 100 by 25 4 plus it's less than 1 so 0 so 24 is the answer and automatic definitely 24 will be the answer we don't need to find the power of 2 because power of 2 is very big so the smallest of these two will be 24 so here comes our 16th question a man rows a boat at a speed of 5 km hour okay fair enough and what's the speed of a river if it takes him one hour to row a boat to a place 2.4 kilometers away and return back see the thing is there two terms you need to know upstream and downstream 
which means that for example if a river is flowing in this direction if you if you are boating in this direction both are in opposite direction it's called as upstream and if uh, both the river and you are moving in the same direction then it's called downstream and here comes into picture whenever you are in upstream the net velocity decreases because if you, the boat velocity u and the river velocity v the relative velocity become u minus v and here it becomes u plus v because both are in the same direction this is the concept behind the problem okay now let's start uh, solving it the boat let's consider boat velocity is u is equal to 5 minute 5 kilometer per hour and river velocity as x and the given data is in one hour he traveled 2.4 kilometer away and return back so in upstream it becomes u minus v plus 2.4 distance by speed is it becomes u plus v is equals to one hour here we know the u value phi minus x we can consider phi plus x so and solving the equation we get 2.4 into 5 plus x plus 2.4 into 5 minus x is equals to 1 hour into 5 plus x into 5 minus x 25 minus x square so 5 for 20 to 12 plus 2.4 x plus 12 minus 2.4 x plus minus cancel 24 is equals to 25 minus x square x is equals to 1 option a is the correct answer and here comes our 17th question guys here we are asked to find the profit and when it is sold at the actual market price so if it is 5 by 7th of the market price it is sold at it earns 15 percent so let me consider the market price as market price mp is equals to x so if it is sold at 5 by 7 x he earn 15 percent which means 15 percent means 115 percent of the cp so if it is sold at x how much does he earn simply framing the equation 5 by 7 x 115 percent for 5 by 7 x and how much is it for x 115 for 5 by 7 x and how much for x directly x cancel 115 divided by 5 by 7 it becomes 115 into 7 it becomes to the numerator reciprocal divided by 5 5 ones are 5 twos are 10 5 three, 23 into 7 is the final answer is equals to 161 so 161 percent of the cp which means that if, if it is sold at 161 percent of cp how much is the profit percentage 100 minus 161 minus 100 is the answer so 61 option d and here comes the last question in in this session guys so which of the numbers should be added to make 306 a prime number okay the most simple method to solve this question is by verifying the given option so if you verify this option if 306 added to 3 it becomes 309 here and it becomes here 311 and here it becomes 315 and 390 so directly we can eliminate option c because it is divided by 3 5 315 is not the right option 309 is divided by 3 so it's not a prime so out of 311 and 319 if you observe 319 it's divided by 11 perfectly 11 2 is 22 9 is left 11 9 is 99 so all three options are eliminated a c d are eliminated so the answer b is the correct one 306 plus 5 311 is the prime